Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans Lloyd Puppet here again to tell you a little bit more about the Granger ISS. I want to talk about the door of the ISS and some of the things you need to think about when looking at tornado shelters. Many tornado shelters have a steel door. For many people, a steel door is hard to open because it's very, very heavy. Unfortunately, you may not realize just how hard it is to open a steel door until it's time to get into your shelter. That is why it's important to consider this before you buy the shelter. Another thing you've got to worry about with a steel door is rust. And we all know that rust is never a good thing. Fiberglass is another material you might see when looking to buy a tornado shelter. But doors that are made of fiberglass, they are going to be exposed to the sun, you see. And fiberglass should never be exposed to the sun because UV rays break it down. A deteriorated door can cause a safety risk down the line. And fiberglass, though safe when it's first installed, may no longer be safe after years and years of sun exposure. Unfortunately, there's no way to test for this. So why take the risk? Other things that affect fiberglass are rust and oxidation. Fiberglass itself does not rust, but the components holding the door onto the shelter, well, they may rust, and that could transfer onto the fiberglass and deteriorate it even more. Oxidation also occurs when fiberglass is exposed to water, and both of these things make it weaker and unsightly. Ugh. There's a much better option than steel or fiberglass for your tornado shelter. The door of the Granger ISS is made of polyethylene, like the rest of the shelter. It is lighter weight, it's more durable, and it does not rust. Granger Plastics designed the Granger ISS to be easy for all types of people to get into, even little kids. The double shock system is what makes it so easy. You may see shocks on other doors, but the ISS has two shocks and they're on the outside. You see, shocks on the inside of the door can become deadly flying projectiles or even missiles. If something were to hit your door at a high rate of speed, like often happens in a tornado, the shock could actually be projected inward toward the people in the shelter, which is just about as dangerous as the tornado itself. Oh, who wants a tornado inside the tornado shelter? That does not even make sense. Having the shocks on the outside makes it easy to open the door without having to worry about projectiles inside of your lovely shelter. The ISS door also exceeds FEMA 320 and FEMA 361 standards. That means it has been specially tested to withstand winds in excess of 250 miles an hour or as strong as an F5 tornado. Oh. It also means the Granger ISS qualifies for any grants or tax credits available for tornado shelters. And they are out there, so check with your local FEMA office and see if there's any in your area. Another option is to add a a bullet-resistant layer to the door to protect you and your family against different types of emergencies like home invasions or other scary things. Hopefully, you will never have to use your shelter for this reason, but if you do, you can have the protection of a level 6 bullet-resistant panel in your door. What does this mean? Well, it means that if someone was shooting a gun at your tornado shelter for some reason and you were in there, you would be a lot more protected than if you did not have a bullet-resistant panel. Do you see what I mean? Every door comes standard with two polyethylene panels, an interior one and an exterior one, as well as a quarter-inch sheet of polycarbonate in between. For protection, upgrade your door to include the bullet-resistant panel because well, you just never know when you might need that, and it sure would be handy in this kind of emergency. Oh, I hate to even think about it. The door is available in several lovely colors, too, like green to blend in with your grass, or terracotta to look nice with your brick. There's even some granite effects available, like gray granite or tan granite, to blend in with those lovely stepping stones you see in fancy backyards these days. Now, because the door is typically pretty much flush with the ground, you can landscape around it and make your backyard a little more fancy. Or if you're installing in a new home construction, you can blend it right into the concrete floor. See pictures and learn more about the Granger ISS and its really, really nice door at www.ingroundsafetyshelter.com or www.grangerplastics.com. This has been your tornado protecting pal, Professor Hans von Puppet.